When I don't uh, show my penis, I show off. Then you're <sighs> paddling, paddling, but there's no power. No, no. <laughs> so try as much as possible to have as flat ski as possible. Yeah. <laughs> He made you look like an absolute fucking child. <laughs> he makes me look like an absolute moron. <laughs> <laughs> So hyped to meet this Olympic legend. This is so cool, we're gonna be skiing with him. But he's actually already told me I've got dodgy skis. So he's just run off to the car to actually let me uh, borrow some of his other skis. So, um, you know, I'm already looking stupid, but let's go, can't wait. Winter Olympics in Vancouver, 2010. This is where Øystein Petersen and Peter Nortuk are winning gold medal for Norway. Øystein Petersen is somewhat of a cross-country legend. He has been in many races in the ski classics. His best position was in the ski classic season of 2014. And you've got a gold medal. A one. One. And actually I did really bad. <laughs> <laughs> in Norwegian you're called Pulsa Petersen, which means Sausage Petersen. Why, yeah, why is that? Yeah, usually I don't tell. Yeah. I don't like to brag about it, but uh, I have an enormous penis. Like, <laughs> huge. The biggest one you've ever seen. Okay. I really like to show you, but it's quite yeah. a process just to it, take it out. So exactly, and also no, we need to be a bit family yeah, friendly yeah, for the yeah, YouTube. But just but imagine like... It. Even, even in these temperatures? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, it doesn't that, matter. That is... Yeah. <laughs> Today we're gonna do some uh, skating, he's gonna show us how it's done, we're gonna do some training techniques and also we're gonna prep a bit for a race we're gonna have uh, next year, which is the Birkenbeiner race, who Arsene Peterson has done many times. For him it's like walking out of the house, basically. Yeah. You know, this, this, is, this must be why I was struggling this morning, you know, got, got the wrong gear on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter how f good you are if you have the wrong equipment. Exactly. Is he able to compete next year? Is he able to compete on the highest level next year? <laughs> Not certain, but uh, can compete, but uh, you can win everything. No. So I think you can compete, yes. Anyone can take part is what you say. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's the beauty of Vicky uh, Batman. You don't need to qualify. <laughs> the beauty about cross country is that if you are in shitty shape, good technique will save you. But, so what am I, I going to do? Then? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Minus, minus, becomes yeah. plus in mathematics. <laughs> yes, let's go with that. I'm the guy who will do Birkebeiner until he dies. Right, yeah. okay. How many Probably beacon? slower and slower every year. <laughs> How many Birken have you done? Oh, not so many actually. I started doing Birken in 2015, 14, around that. So I did six, seven, eight. Perhaps. I did one on uh, uh, Randonet skis actually. It was a challenge. I had a friend who said, I wish you'd have a race and I like, I will beat you on slalom skis. Not that you're arrogant or anything. But. No, no, but I was just being honest. Yeah. <laughs> I will beat you on slalom skis and they were like, is that a challenge? I was like, if you wanna, yeah. So he did a uh, double pulling. I did the race on slalom skis yeah. and with the Randonet boots. Yeah. And uh, yeah. That was it? By one and a half hour. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But he's actually a good uh, athlete himself. Yeah. Not in cross country skiing, but he won a Champions League in football. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. But right. when he was. That was a low key flex, wasn't it? Right there. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 was a, that was a name drop. That was a name drop. Yeah, like, I've heard oh one. yeah. I, I, I'm good <laughs> friends with John Anne It had nothing to do <laughs> with the ski race whatsoever. You just wanted to drop that in. No, no, no. I, I wanted to tell you that uh, I beat you, Narnarisa, and many other years yeah. on slalom skis. <laughs> but but I also know you, Narnarisa. <laughs> <laughs> what was your time for Birken? Oh, yeah. Uh, two hours and fifty minutes. What? Yes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we did. No, we don't, did. Don't say it. No, say it. I have to say. No. Last year we did six hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's good. I. Where did you stop for a snack? <laughs> I don't know. Every <laughs> five <laughs> meters. <laughs> we had a long rest. At, uh, we took a little nap at a hotel yeah, and then yeah, went yeah, back yeah, again. Exactly. <laughs> No, you're just showing off. When I don't uh, show my penis, I show off. Yes, yeah. that's, that's me. Skiing, it's for me, is to go out and play. How often do you ski now, still every oh, day? Yeah, 
Really? I try to ski every day. Yeah. But I don't do roller skiing anymore. I was going to ask you actually, that's going to yeah. be one of my questions. What are your oh, thoughts? Really? Hey. Roller ski, yay, yay or nay? Roller ski is beautiful, but uh, every time I'm on the roller skis, it reminds me of how bad I've become. <laughs> Because it's uh, there's more training than joyful yeah. to go the roller ski. Yeah. Like so, I go for a run, or I take my bike and go for a ride. This yeah, yeah. is like because if you fall here, it's like a pillow you fall on. Roller ski. Alistair still got an R from Roller Ski. Oh, I'm good. Like, he's got a scar. I've got a scar for the rest of my life. Yes, I mean, you know, the best scars are the best stories, eh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Look at you, you're full of quotes today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm yeah. uh, in urgent uh, need of some uh, some coaching. Okay. So, and that's basically when it comes to skating. And I think one of the questions I have is how close do you take your, like, your legs when doing the push? And also what angle, because I kind of sometimes feel like I'm angling the skis a bit like into the snow. The thing about uh, skating though, yeah. it's, we call it free technique. Yeah. So you could, you could basically go however you want. As long as you are fast, then you are doing the right thing. And, and the thing you are asking about how close do you put your legs, some are closer than others. Yeah. The main thing is that you, when you push, yeah. are in balance. Yeah. So if you have um, your legs like this, it's, I find it more easy to yeah. be in balance than if you are like here. The other thing, when you are setting the ski down in the snow, yeah. you want the ski to go gliding. Yeah. If you are on the edge, yeah. you will not glide. No. And you, you, will, you will feel that your ski will stop. So try as much as possible to have as flat ski as possible. Yeah. Like so when you are on the, fl on the flat train, it's easier than when you are on uphill. Get the image. If, if you see a star, yeah. they're like this. Yeah, exactly. Why? They're, they're like pedaling. Because then you, okay, so they you just... If, if you were like here yeah. and are to start skating, it's impossible. You, you cannot start skating from here. Why? Because the skis are in the total wrong position. Yeah. You have no speed, uh, but if you are skating uh, 50k an hour, this is the perfect. Yeah. If you see when the, the guys are coming down here, skating without poles, yeah. they are putting the skis in the, the direction yeah. of the speed. We actually, we did ice, we did an ice skating video, so if you haven't seen that, look at that, but an ice skating it's video. Same. And when they start, they do like this. Yes. Like put the skates yes. and then, they go. Yeah. And then when they are putting the skate down on the ice. Yeah. Perfect. And then when they are pushing, because they are moving uh, the body, yeah. you get the angle. Okay. Let's uh, try I to follow go. you. Yeah. Beauty. But on the way down, it almost like clicked for me that it's. And I don't know if this is true, but I felt like the push is what gives you like the power, like the last push. Yeah. So I did like the long strides and then I like yeah. pushed it off and it propelled yeah. me forwards. Yeah. Good technique though, really good. But why are you skating like this? I, I honestly, I don't know. Do you think I might be skating like that? It's, it's a normal is it a, uh, no? new beginner uh, skill. And I think it's because you, you try like to switch your yeah. weight from one leg to another. But this is really good exercise. But it doesn't but bring you any faster no. forward. Okay. It's just good exercise. You should try to focus on going fast right. or forward, yeah. not doing good exercise. Because skiing itself, it's good exercise. Yeah, yeah. Just when I'm um, uh, teaching kids, they are smaller than you, but yeah. we are practicing the same uh, skill. Uh -huh. And I tell them, think that you are passing uh, football to yourself. Okay. Did you learn that from your uh, professional footballer friends? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I know you learn it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you are um, <coughs> uh, when you are pushing towards the ground, then you need to use your foot. So it's at the same time. 
because then it's easier also to be stable and it's easier to keep your balance your body in, in, in balance so you need to be simultaneous you do um, on each stride you have uh, two double balls I will show you like you do like this A lot of people are, like I told you, in the middle, and then it's impossible to have balance. Yeah, of course. And also, um, if you see here, you try to your knee in a position where you can't see your toe. When you are like this, you are falling forward. Yeah. And if you are falling forward, and you that's, can use your pole, and then yeah. that's where the momentum goes. Yes, so yes, yes. Yeah. And that's where we're trying to go forward, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then you can use all the. Yep. The haggis and the, the fish and yeah. chips you <laughs> wait yeah. during your period of yeah. living and then go for it. What should you do different now? Yeah. I don't know why he's lifting his feet so much. No, like, I've, I've noticed that as well. But it's good. Good exercise though. <laughs> so this is what he needs to improve the most on. As you can see, his weight, his body weight is more or less between the skis. He's not over the skis. So he's skiing like this. Yeah. <laughs> he made you look like an absolute fucking child. He makes me look like an absolute moron. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's your first impression? Uh, quite good. Yeah, quite good. You are uh, doing the same as the UK master. Yeah. A lot Listing. of good exercise going on. Yeah. Moving uh, too much, but uh, your ground uh, movement, your basic is, is quite good. Okay. I ha don't tell the UK guy, but you uh, have better movement than him. I will definitely not yeah. tell him in the beginning. But I think you are in worse shape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, you don't give him that, you don't give him that. I, I was about to say, oh no, I forgot to press record. But I'm going to keep it running. <laughs> Did you get that? You, I know you're not a reason. <laughs> and, and also remember why he's called Pulsar. <laughs> you are not strong here. No. Here is. But here you are but you're using. So basically the same as classic double, yeah, yeah, yeah. double holding. Elbows close to the poles. Yep. And then in front of the body. Yes. And this goes for fast, uh, fast skating as well. Yes. So same technique. Ali, that's good for you. You love double polling. So love it's it. the same. Honestly, double polling, can't get enough of it. Yeah, that's good. And then V2, yeah. it's double polling with the kick. In fact, a friend of mine did the whole of Beacon just double polling. Oh, don't, don't know if you know him, uh, professional footballer. This guy won the Champions League. I think yes, he is. Yeah, yes, I think that's he is. right. Yeah. I have him speed dial. He never, <laughs> he never takes anywhere else. Can, you, can you try call him? Uh, right now? Yeah. He's in Dubai. He's in Dubai. I'll, I'll call him out like, okay, go on, call John Iman. No, I'll, 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 I'll tell him, uh, I'll tell him Pulsar says hi. When I'm, <laughs> let's, let's have a see. When I'm down at, uh, yeah, down at the training centre, when I'm back in London, I'll, uh, I'll tell him. All right, so what in general advice would you give people who come to like do skating? When, when they go from classic to skating, what's like the three classic mistakes you see? First of all, have fun. Like, yeah. seriously. Skating is really fun. It is, it yeah, really yeah. is. So just have fun. And, and I, I like the fact that it's called free technique. Yeah. You can't do wrong. No. You can't perhaps be more efficient, but you can't do wrong. No. And if you are not efficient, then you are putting in a good effort. Your effort, you want it to bring you forward. Yeah. So try to, as much as possible, uh, the power you put in the snow, from the skis and from the poles, needs to be pointing yeah. forward, because yeah. that's where you're yeah. gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. If the speed is slow, yeah. your movements are small. Yeah. If it's high speed, then your movements are big. That makes sense. It's the same, if you're riding your bike, and going downhill on a really easy gear yeah. and you're paddling paddling but there's no power no no if you go uphill 
and we have really low gear, yeah. then it's <laughs> impossible. So this is the same. Yeah. This is same. And it's the same in running. You are not running humongous no. ste uh, um, steps going uphill. You have small steps going downhill. Okay. Big. Yeah. It's the same. That's really cool. Thank you very much. There is one really simple rule. Try to be simultaneous. Like when you are using your arms, you are also using your legs. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. It's really easy to use your arm first and then your legs yeah. or your legs yeah. first and then and then you are and you lose the rhythm. Gotcha. But it all starts with balance and rhythm. Yeah. Just the timing. Go with yeah. the flow. Yeah. So tip when it comes to putting on my skis. Right? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll, take, I'll take one ski off then. So yeah. uh, so yeah. This will be good. The, the normal thing, like, oh, people come go skiing, uh, then, and you bend. Is it okay to say bend over in this pod, uh, <laughs> channel? It's supposed to be family friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, then we, you've already ruined that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then they come in here and then bend over and then. Oh, oh. But you can also, like, put in your shoe in the binding and. Well, it looks more. It looks look like you're being attacked by a mosquito. <laughs> almost. Yeah, almost. Oh, I feel. I feel. I yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you can't. Like I told right. you, start by doing yeah, this. Yeah. This is this is how you you get the technique going. Instead of like doing this, you do. You just. Yeah, you gotta get exactly. It's like a lunge. You lunge in. Almost. Yeah. Don't you? Don't, you have a good time. You don't need to do it so fast. Almost. There you go! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Got it! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, we're not fast, but we look really professional putting on the skis. Yeah. I feel like we've, we've learned a lot today. Oh, yeah. Not necessarily a lot about skiing, but we've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, but you should have taken. There is like 10,000 Norwegians who are better than skiing than me. You chose me. <laughs> Who's to blame? Um, I'm not me. Uh, like, it's been awesome fun. We've heard all about your um, the anatomy of your of your body, body <laughs> yeah, yeah, what yeah. it takes to be uh, an Olympian. We know um, about his friends. All his, other, call. all the other celebrity friends uh, and everything else. Um, obviously, a big goal of ours is the uh, Beer Cabana yeah. again, again in yeah. March. Yeah. Again, that was that was a flex uh, for me. Um, but skating this time, yep. I'll be there. How far of a head start do you think we would need to beat you? Or, or actually, no, earlier you spoke about the handicap you had with your friends where you had a little competition. Yep. Do you think would be a realistic challenge where we might be able to, uh, to compete with you? Either, you know, what ridiculous things would you have to have on your feet in order to uh, cross the win? If I were to bring poles, right. I think I would beat you on snowboard. <laughs> what? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to make that a challenge? You can put it away. I mean, you can put it away. my hand is here. <laughs> my hand is here. I'll, you know, I'll have to do it. We can have a small race in the beginning. A I small race. To, to learn myself how to snowboard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I get the balance, yeah. it's all about balance, eh? In yeah, time, exactly. It's the same. Look okay, so we, we, will, we will do a small race yeah. where we'll be skating and you'll be on a snowboard. Yeah. Perfect. The problem is I don't really want to agree, agree to this because I, I know, I know it's going to be No, fun, but I mean, um, honestly, I, we do this and uh, people need to obviously to subscribe to watch and follow this. Exactly. So if you want to see Olympic gold medalist Ersan Pettersson on a snowboard with poles at the Vega Binder Ski Map in Norway racing against us, then uh, please subscribe and keep watching our videos. Uh, yeah. And there will be no prize given to the winner, but there will be a mongoose uh, tremendous uh, amount of shame to the <laughs> losers. Can we get John Anneri to come and congratulate? Probably, yes. He will, yeah. he will yes. present the prize, which will be a it will be a life size golden <laughs> uh, um, replica. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to go home. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, <laughs> Seriously, thank so, you so much. Uh, uh, don't worry, it's the same. It's the same. Uh, it's been fun. Yeah, it's the same. Thank you, Hassan. <sighs> We have to thank our sponsor, makes it possible for us to actually go out here and do these videos that I hope you enjoy. If you like, subscribe and comment, that would be very, very nice because that makes it able for us to go out and get these pros like Einstein Peterson and other people. So please do us a favor of visit Shushun if you come to Norway, but also like, subscribe, comment, share our video. 
your children feel uh, the pressure to be good at skiing and following I your hope, footsteps? I hope so. Right. I try to really be hard yeah. at home soil, like really pushing them. Yeah. It would bring quite a lot of shame onto the family if they were uh, yeah, if they were bad at skiing. Yeah. I have a like a, a monologue every morning, yeah. which is really intense, yeah. really hard. A ritual. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think hope hopefully they do. Yes. Yeah, so we. We haven't attended uh, things like movies or no, no, birthday no. parties. We're training. Absolutely. Like that's what that's, we do. That's how it should be. So right yeah. now, they are not at school. They are on, in the mountains. Excellent. Survival camp. No, I'm very, very, <laughs> very pleased to hear that, actually. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I like sports who are fair. The one who are training the most, yeah. practicing the most, yeah. will eventually be the best. Uh -huh. So I just practiced. And yeah. I didn't put it in the context of... Uh, <coughs> trying to be the best but I tried to do my best and I had fun like I think you can go a really long way if you have fun yeah. like seriously there is too much uh, seriousness in everything if you can do serious thing and still have a smile on your face oh you will be really good